I know I'm preaching. Because when you start spending that quality time with God and you start purifying and you start feeding your spirit the word, your discernment goes up. And God trains you how to love people from a distance. He trains you how to let somebody embrace you and you know when you hug them, you're embracing a demon. Something about this one ain't right. I can't put my finger on it, but mm -mm. Okay, I'm not getting to say nothing, but it's not. Why is this? Because let's look at the scripture right quick. Luke 8 and 11. Let me give you the meaning. Now the meaning, Luke 8 and 11. Now the meaning of the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Somebody said the seed is the word of God. Say the seed is the word of God. Say it again. The seed is the word of God. It says in the 12th verse, those along the travel, those along the traveled road, the, along the traveled road are the people who have heard. Then the devil comes and carries away the message out of their hearts that they may not believe, acknowledge me as their and devote themselves to me and be saved here and after. Now, now get what that just said. Those that travel along the way. Those that travel along the way. Those that travel along the way. Those that just come to church on Sundays. Is those that hear the word. And the devil come and he takes the word out of their heart. Why? Why did it just say he takes it? So they can't believe. Let me tell you something. That was key right there. So let me reverse that. If I keep the word, I will believe. If the devil take the word, then I can't believe. I don't have the capability in myself, in my emotions, to just believe. I need a word in my heart to believe. I'm talking to somebody right now. See, that's why when you come to church and you get to get a preach word before you can get outside good, somebody in the parking lot cut you off and bring the cuss up at you because it ain't, it ain't even about the parking space. It ain't even about the usher said go this way, but you didn't have to say it like that. You about to get into a fight right in the sanctuary. You know why? Because he knew that the word went out and it hit your heart. So he got one responsibility, and that is before you can get home, get it. Get that word. Because if I can take that word, she can't believe. If I can take the word he just got and let his wife make him mad before that word can take root, he can't believe. I'm not here, nobody. Why is it so quiet in here? Why is it so quiet in here? Well, I, I thought she was going to get the baby from the nurse. I got the baby last Sunday. Well, I thought, well, I, I, I ain't, I, I, I'm a deacon. I don't want nobody to be seeing me getting no baby. You the baby's mama. I thought you was going to give me a ride home, girl. I, well, I got, I, well, you said you would. Said, but don't play me like that. If you wasn't going to give me no ride, you should have told me you weren't going to get Because I could have got a ride from Sister Watermiller. And now I'm walking. You know you wrong for that. But that's all right. It ain't about the ride. It ain't about the baby. It ain't about the wife. It ain't about the husband. It's about the devil has an assignment. It's about the enemy knows that a real word went into the hearts of God's people. And now he has a responsibility. I got to get it. I got to get it. I got to get it. Because if I ever get it, the thing that they've been praying for, they're going to mess around and have the ability to believe God. Y'all look at him be funny. Okay, come on, come on. Tell your neighbor, come on with me. Now watch this. And those upon the rock are the people who when they hear the word, receive and welcome it with joy. But these have no 
root. They believe for a while. And in a time of trial and temptation, fall away, withdraw, and stand the loop. Oh, yo, 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 I can't, I can't, I, I cannot get you to even understand what he's trying to say right here to you. In, in the, in, and in the time of, and in the time of trial, and temptation oh God I love you Jesus I, the trial and the temptation is not about you it ain't even your attack baby it is the attack on the word that you done heard oh the devil ain't stunning you the devil ain't thinking about you the reason why he's on your track right now it ain't because of they get oh honey the enemy is after me and the devil is praying no the enemy is after the word he's mad because of the word he's mad because you know what you're not just one that's traveling along the way you received it with joy now I'm going to tell you why that makes him scared because the joy of the Lord is my strength. And if I let them keep that word, they'll keep their joy. Therefore, they'll be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I'm preaching too hard. Did you just hear that? Did you just hear that? Do you know what I just did? I just, ooh, I just annihilated. Pray for me. Just pray my strength, girl. I just, I just got rid of that line. We don't need that line no more. Because if I get the word, then I ought to expect that a trial is coming up. Because if while I'm preaching right now, and you start rejoicing, baby, you just got dangerous in the kingdom. Because he don't mind you hearing it, but don't receive it with joy. Because when you get joy, you get strength. When you get strength, you get power. When you get power, you get an anointing. When you get an anointing, you get an assignment. Y'all sit down. Y'all sit down. Y'all sit down. I got to say that. Just in case you heard me say it. You, I was yelling too much for you to hear me. Oh, if I get joy, I get strength. If I get strong, I get power. If I get power, I get an anointing. And if I get an anointing, I get an assignment. Because after the anointing, the Bible says, for he has anointed me to preach the gospel. Of the Not after he... Because you know what power is? Lord, want I give you to power to lay on the hands of the sick, to cast out devils, and over every evil work of the devil. And then, for he has anointed me to preach the gospel. So the same Christ that I believe in to be the word that now lives in me, and I just received it. Now, I just didn't receive a word. I just received power to lay hands on the sick, to cast out devils. I just received power. I just received an anointing to set the captive free. Oh, who am I preaching to? Who am I preaching to? That's why as soon as you feel your spirit growing in the world, attacks get greater and warfare break out like never before. And everybody you thought was your friend turned against you. And it seemed like people that you've never had odds with. They act like they hate your guts. It's not about that. It's the devil understanding that something in your heart has been changed and transformed by the renewing of the world. Y'all sit down because I got to calm down because I ain't going to finish this. I ain't going to finish this. I ain't going to finish this. I 